you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries november 26th thursday let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to saint luke chapter 21 verses 20 to 28 When you see Jerusalem surrounded by the armies then know that its desolation has come near then those in Judea must flee to the mountains and those inside the city must leave it and those out in the country must not enter it for these are days of vengeance as a fulfillment of all that is written o to those who are pregnant and to those who are nursing infants in those days for there will be great distress on the earth and wrath against these people they will fall by the edge of the sword and be taken away as captives among all nations and jerusalem will be trampled and by the gentiles until the times of uh, the gentiles are fulfilled there will be signs in the sun the moon and the stars and on the earth distress among nations confused by the roaring of the sea and the waves people will faint from fear and foreboding of what is coming upon the world for the powers of the heavens will be shaken then they will see the son of man coming in a cloud with a power and great glory now when these things begin to take place stand up and raise your heads because your redemption is drawing near this is the gospel of the lord praise you lord jesus christ my dear friends jesus continues his warning of what is to come it is a bending of what is going to happen to jerusalem and of the end of all things the images are mainly biblical and apocalyptic from old testament prophecies and not to be taken as an accurate description of what is actually going to happen the sign that the end was near would be jerusalem surrounded by armies accompanied by the abomination that causes desolation nevertheless it is true that jerusalem was encircled by the armies of rome the safest place to be was not in the city which was reduced by to rubble but in the surrounding hills jesus is emphasizing not so much the actual events but rather their cause the faithful faithlessness and the corruption of so many for which destruction was the inescapable outcome so he calls them the days of a retribution or the time of punishment not indicating god's revenge but the natural result of evil and corruption warnings of which the scripture especially the prophets are full see for example isaiah chapter 63 verse 4 jeremiah chapter 5 verse 29 and hosea chapter 9 verse 7 and especially daniel chapter 9 verse 29 for one week he will make a firm compact with the many half the week he shall abolish sacrifice and oblation on the temple wing shall be the horrible abomination until the rain that is decreed in poured out upon the earth all of this of course was to be repeated and in many ways has been repeated again and again one thing is of the new statue set up as a deity in the cathedral of notre dame in paris during the french revolution what follows from verse 23 is more relevant to the destruction of jerusalem it will be a particularly difficult time for women who are pregnant and nursing it will be a time for great distress many will be cut down and others will be led away into captivity to pagan territories the holy city itself its temple its temple is rain will be trampled down by the gentiles a fate it still experiences finally 
Jesus speaks of various uh, catast- catastrophic and apocalyptic signs to signal the end time. They are typical biblical phenomena and not meant to be taken as an exact foretelling of events. It is not intended to fill people with fear and tremble, except perhaps those who have lived wicked lives. But for the disciples, the loyal followers of Jesus, it is a time to stand up right, straight and raise your heads for your redeeming is near at hand. As we saw in Israel's cause, the suffering and the tribulations are part and the parcel of living the living Christian life to the full. Our message and our vision is a sign of a contradiction, a beacon of light to many and to others, a threat to be radically uprooted. So let us prepare. Amen. May God bless us.